Hello, everyone. Welcome to Noodle Talk. From this lesson, we'll start learning the basics of Chinese characters. In the future, we'll learn Chinese by type. Now, let's take a look at the basic units that makes up Chinese characters. Bi hua. This lesson will focus on several basic bi hua and some combined bi hua. When learning Chinese characters writing, usually use the paper with quiet girds. It can help us correspond to the position of the characters. Because of the auxiliary line in the middle is like the character mi in Chinese. It is also called mi zi ge. For example, this Chinese character can be split into several bi hua. So, bi hua is the smallest unit of Chinese characters. Just like English words are made up of each letters. In ancient times, the tool for writing Chinese characters was the brush. Its tip is soft. Therefore, the size of the force and the length of the stay will make the bihua look different. This also formed the different schools of calligraphy in ancient China. Now people mainly use pens, pencils, ball pens, etc. Most of the nibs are hard and it is difficult to see the change in thickness of bihua. As long as you pay attention to the structure of Chinese characters, it will be easier to write. When we study, we use brush calligraphy to better understand the writing method of Bi Hua. When practicing, you can follow the writing style of the hard nib calligraphy. First, let's take a look at the basic bi hua. The way to write heng is the horizontal line. You can see that the head and tail are heavier, and the middle is slightly lighter. You can use a hard pen without paying attention to this, and write in one stroke from left to right. Next, shu, from top to bottom. When writing with a brush, it is heavier at the beginning and generally lift at the end. Bi hua becomes thinner. These two bi hua, the more important ones, formed the basis of the square characters. Next, pi and na as a pair. Pi, right from the starting point to the lower left. Start heavy and end lightly. The direction of na and pi are symmetrical. Right from the starting point to the lower right. Towards the end, go a little heavier and then lift the pen. Both pie and na are slightly curved, not straight. Next, dian and ti. The direction of dian is down to the right, relatively short. Beginning light and end heavier. Next, T. Unlike most Bi Hua, the direction of T 
is up to the right. Start heavy and end lightly. And the pen lifts faster. It's longer than the end. These 笔画 are the most basic. You can practice according to the following examples of hard nib calligraphy. Now, let's look at some combined 笔画 Although there are many, they are all combinations of some basics 笔画 Today, we will understand their writing rules without memorizing. When we learn Chinese characters later, you will naturally remember them with more practice. The first is about a combination of heng, heng zhe, which consists of heng and short shu, needs to be written in one stroke. Write heng first. Don't leave the pen at the end. Turn down to complete the shu part. Zhe has the meaning of turn in another direction in Chinese, so we call it heng zhe. In the same way, heng pi. Which consists of heng and pi. Write it down in one stroke. Do not leave the pen during the process. Next, heng go. Write heng first. Don't leave the pen at the end. Turn to the lower left and leave the pen quickly. Note that the turning part is sharp and short. This part is called go. Next, heng zhe go, which consists of heng, shu, and go, and it also needs to be written in one stroke. Don't care about the length of shu here. Because when learning a specific Chinese character, it appears in different characters, and length may be different. Heng zhe ti, which consists of heng, shu, and ti. Know that go is to the left, and ti. Is to the right. While the length is longer than go, go is very short. Next one. Heng zhe wan. Know that when the shu part is about to end, there is a turn with an arc. In bi hua, all the one places. Are rounded corners with a little radian. Heng zhe wan go, which consists of heng zhe wan and go. Heng zhe zhe, it turns twice. The first time is down. The second time is right. Both. Are right angle turns. Heng zhe zhe pi, which consists of heng zhe zhe and pi. Don't worry about the length of each part. It will be covered later in Chinese character learning. Heng zhe zhe zhe. It's heng zhe zhe. Turn down one more time. Heng zhe 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 go. It's heng zhe 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 plus a go. Now 
Let's look at some bihua about shu. First one, shu ti, which consists of shu and ti. Know that the direction of ti is to the right, and the length is slightly longer. Next, shu zhe, write shu first, then the part heng. Be careful not to leave the pen until you have finished writing. Shu zhe pi, which consists of shu zhe and pi. In Chinese characters, shu and heng. May have a slightly slope when written in different characters. Shu go, which consists of shu and go. Know that the direction of go is to the left. Shu one. It's the same as removing heng. From Heng Zhe One, the corners are rounded. Shu Wan Go, which consists of Shu Wan and Go. Shu Zhe Zhe. This stroke also changes the direction twice when writing. Shu Zhe Zhe Go. Which consists of shu zhe zhe and go. Now, let's look at two stroke about pie, pie dian, which consists of pie and dian. Write pie first, then dian. We need to write it in one stroke. And this DM is a bit longer than when written alone. Pie zhe, write pie first, then turn to the right, and gently lift the pen at the end. The last part is about go. First, write. From the top left to the bottom right, with a little arc, and write a go upward at the end, adding a heng to this base. Is heng xie go? One go. It can be compared with shu go. The shu of shu go is relatively straight. And one go is curved. Eight a heng pie on one go is heng pie one go. Wo go. It can be seen as a lying xie go. But the arc is longer and the go is longer. These three all have readings, but the angle. And the direction are different. Today, we only need to memorize the basic strokes of heng, shu, pi, na, dian, ti, and go. The rest are composed on these foundations, and do not need to be specifically memorized. When we learn Chinese characters in future lessons, we will naturally remember them. Take a look at the example given at the beginning of this lesson. Between the bihua of this character, some have gaps, and some are connected together. The different positions of this bihua. Constitute the structure of this character. If you want to write 
beautiful Chinese characters. Pay more attention to the pronunciation of Bihua in future lessons. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.